So John, uh, you there's parts of the story I don't know, right? So we started this thing called TYT University. There's a guy we mentioned a couple times today. Uh, his name is Tom Hank. Uh, he uh, used to work here, and he was a fun and great and integral and smart part of TYT for a long time. And uh, and I tasked him with starting TYT University, which he did. Which he then, being the smart guy that he is, uh, enlisted Anna and got Anna to do all the work. Uh, <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, <laughs> not not just with Tom, but anything at TYT. Anyway, <laughs> continue. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, and then Anna, of course, immediately put herself on camera, uh, which also sounds like Anna. Um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and we were supposed to get submissions from different uh, colleges and universities. Uh, and then we would air them and then Anna would comment on them, etc. And I don't even remember if you had a co-host back then. Uh, it was JR. Did you, have a, you did it with JR? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Anna and JR uh, would would you, they would get submissions and they would air them and they got a whole bunch of submissions, but this one guy kind of apparently stands out. Um, so <laughs> Anna, he was the only one submitting videos. <laughs> oh really? I thought you guys not that you got like hundreds or something, but I thought you had a bunch that you were rolling through. I mean, we got a few, but John was the most consistent and also unsurprisingly the most professional. Like you could tell he took the time to like think about camera angles and audio and like his videos were usable and they were also really good. And he would take cues from us. Like we wanted some content from fun activities at colleges and universities and he did deliver. And now I'll, John, take the floor because I want to hear your yeah. perspective on this. Okay, yeah, yeah, I need to hold on. John, I, 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 since there's parts of the story I don't know. No, 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 no. John hasn't <laughs> talked in like 20 minutes and he's not going to. That's what this is. We're just punking him with this whole special. Yeah, okay. I'm still below the average, so I'm okay. I'm, I'm optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, John, the parts of the story I don't know are mm. uh, how did you stumble onto TYTU in the first place? How did I stumble on a TYTU or TYT? Well, you tell me. Well, TYT, uh, so I listened, I was like really into politics in college and there wasn't YouTube, like it literally didn't exist at that point. Um, don't do the math on that, but I, I was in college undergrad and it didn't exist, but there was Air America. And so I listened to Air America and um, TYT was one of several shows that I can remember listening to. It's crazy now, it was like Mike Malloy and um, Al Franken, and I think uh, there's a few more comedians. Really, fun. Gar Garofalo had a show, so I would listen to all those. Um, and then eventually, the website and the podcast. Once that stuff started, uh, TYTU was when it was about to be announced. Uh, Anna and I think it was you, Jank, put out a video asking for those videos to be sent in, and so I did one. And uh, Anna and Jr. talked about it. And so I had been watching or listening to the network for like five or six years. And then all of a sudden, Anna and Jay are talking about a video of me. And I and as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, that's that's what I do now. That's my life. Every week I'm sending in a video. Screw grad school. That's not important at this point. I was in grad school <laughs> and I just made videos. I turned my bedroom into like a space for shooting. I had a green screen and stuff. It was so stupid. Um and just No, you know, it was not. It was not well, it turned out to be a it good idea. Smartest. Yeah, totally. You were the best. You were the best. Thank and it you. led you to your like you owe me for your entire life. Like, don't you feel good about that? <laughs> I do, I do. Oh, like I don't give you credit constantly for it. No, you do. And honestly, I'm kidding. But no, John was just John is John. He's a professional through and through. And like just knows how to put together excellent content. And so I was constantly impressed with what you were submitting. So I think you made the right choice. Yeah, I did. I did. And so I just made, you know, like six months of those videos. And then at one point I decided I'm going to go for it. You know what? Uh, they, they seem to like my stuff. I think Anna and I either communicated via email or on Facebook or something. And I was like, she knows who I am. I'm just going to try to make this happen. And so I called you, I think. I even I remember where I was when I called you because I'd made a whole big thing in my mind. I was like, I'm gonna walk around the lake in Austin 
and just, I'm gonna call and I'm gonna ask for an internship. I didn't expect it would turn into anything. I was like, I wanna go there. I wanna see these people. This is the big payoff, months of work. And you needed to like go and ask questions or something. But then I think you texted me back that I could. I just remember thinking, oh my God, I've made so many like big attempts at making something happen in my life and it's never worked. But this one's working. And that was just yeah. the first step. There were many others, but Anna brought me in for that. I did that. And then you, she asked for me to get a job and gave me the job, basically. It was all Anna, really. Yeah. I mean, look, it wasn't all me. It was your initiative and your hard work. And you were like, the whole point of that show was to rely on submissions, like video submissions from college students. And you were the only one who was consistent. And I was just like, if we're gonna hire anyone to produce content and to host content, this is the guy. Like he's just so hardworking and it makes all the sense in the world. I don't even remember because at that point the company was still so tiny and barely made any money. I don't I'm actually shocked that we were hiring anyone. Like for the first five years I was at TYT, it was just five people. It was me, Jenk, Jesus, JR, and Dave. That's it. And then like slowly the company started expanding. So I think after me, Tom Hank was the next hire. And then after Tom Hank, if I'm not, and then I don't know if Aaron was first or Tom was first, but it was Aaron, Tom, Tom, Aaron, and then it was you, if I'm not mistaken. I think Tim Collins was working there. Like you guys hired up for current. Because I did my internship at the old studio, the like three rooms or whatever. But but between that and me coming and working like two months, a month and a half later, you'd moved into the new studio. The current TV show had just started, and you had a few more people, I think, that had recently joined the company. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Um, there's there's folks that were definitely before John because they were already working in the in the Wilshire studio. So. Mm -hmm. um, Aaron Wysocki and Tom Hank were hired at the same time. Aaron is the commanders of the Felix Legion and the general, no, general of the Felix Legion, commander of the armies of the East. He runs the <laughs> boiler room in Pittsburgh, uh, which is now a real <laughs> office that does amazing work. So Aaron's still with us after all these years and is absolutely pivotal and one of the hardest working guys. Look, here's another- Oh, I really fast. Um, Arena, I think, had been hired first too because she was an intern when I was interning. I think she got hired mm. before, right before me, right before I got there. Yeah. So, like the life lesson, guys, is I don't want you to get the. So we talked about ninety percent of life is just show up, right? And so, hey, Sue showed up, Jr. showed up, Anna showed up, and then John, as you just heard the story, showed up in a in a big way, made a big effort to show up because uh, he wasn't in L.A., he wasn't around the corner. He made a giant effort. That was Texas. To, yeah, you were in Texas, so that leads to really important life lesson number two, which is, look, guys, it makes it sound like, hey, you just got to show up here and we'll hire you, and I don't know, you'll just be a rando <laughs> doing whatever, right? No, uh, we're still don't have anywhere near enough money. So that's why we do the fundraising like tyt.com slash go. And, and we're careful with your money, right? Um, otherwise, we'd have never made it for 18 years. Uh, and But it's not just showing up. You also, obviously, all these folks are talented and really smart, etc. But the thing that unites them more than anything else is hard work. Uh, you got to show up and then roll up your sleeves and work your ass off. And if you do, then anything is possible. I, you know, you can call me hokey and corny, and everybody does. Um, but I, we're all living proof. We're all living proof. It just uh, hard work is real. Uh, it does pay off. And you know, are we all rich? No, right? Uh, but have we done something we're proud of? Uh, Yes, have we loved each other and and had this camaraderie for all this time? Yes, uh, that's the from the lobby of the Wilshire Studio. That's before John showed up, and that's from yeah. the current TV shoot uh, when we did the Tarantino style Reservoir Dogs walk. Um, mm -hmm. and, and by the time John that, had that was showed before, up, that was before the glow up for sure. Definitely before the glow up. <laughs> anyway, continue. <laughs> um, Mark Register was here, Tim Collins was here, Irina was here, uh, Ricky Strom uh, was mm -hmm. here doing TYT Sports. He pulled a Dave Kohler, went to Bolivia for a while and then came back. 
Uh, in this case, it wasn't <laughs> Bolivia, but um, and uh, and so John was kind of well in into it from our, you know, our. Remember at the time when John, when did we hired you, twenty eleven around there. It was yeah. I my first day was January twenty third, twenty twelve. But yeah, it was like late December, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, think about it. That I feel like John's still a new hire. He's been here eight years, uh, almost almost nine. nine. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and but the reality is, at that time when we hired him at the beginning of 2012, we'd already been around for 10 years. <laughs> so yeah. it's incredible how ancient we are. Uh, and that's another life lesson. I mean, look, okay. you see how? Oh Marina. my God! Look at that. Oh, kid. It's my baby. Look at that. Oh, I love that shirt. That was such a good T-shirt. Oh, yeah. T- oh. We're gonna get into that story of TYTU and Think Tank uh, after the break. But you know, um, you see, even all the technical trouble we had today, 18 years in, right? I'm doing this for my phone. It's we're a mess. Uh, we keep asking for tyt.com/go, and you guys are tired of it. We're gonna try to stop at the beginning of the year, right? Uh, but they still haven't knocked us down. I mean, no, that's not true. They've knocked us down a hundred times, two hundred <laughs> times, two thousand times. But everybody you see on air and behind the scenes too, tough, stubborn sons of bitches, just keep getting back up. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, Jr. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.